Good evening, everybody. It's a pleasure to be with you this evening. And thank you so very much for tuning in to the ICAW slot this evening, a career to the top with the ICAW and the ACA qualification. I'd really like to thank the organizers of this year's Panorama Careers Fair. Under such difficult circumstances, they've really pulled together an excellent careers fair and really supported both employers, professional bodies like us, to come together with students and other stakeholders to discuss career options in Greece today. So thank you so very much to the organizers and all the people behind the screens for making this happen. It's a real honor to be with you this evening and thank you so much for tuning in at this time of the day. Um, and I'm here to answer any questions you may have together with my colleague, Maria Gatsu. So a few words initially by way of introduction for the two of us before we talk about the program in Greece and the prospects of the ACA qualification. So my name, as you can see on the screen, is Christiana Diola. And a few words about myself. So I graduated some time ago now from the University of Oxford. I studied philosophy, politics and economics. And on graduating, I decided that a career in business is what I really wanted to follow. So I joined a firm. I, I chose to do the ACA. And I have to say, I've never looked back. It's been a very exciting time as a chartered accountant through, throughout my career so far and the various roles I've undertaken in Cyprus, in Greece, and in the UK. So that's a little bit about myself. And I want to hand over to my colleague now, Maria Gatsu, to also say a few words. Thank you, Christiana. Good evening, everyone. Uh, we're really happy to be here with you this evening. Um, my background, first of all, my, you, you can see my name on the screen. So I'm a senior members and stakeholders executive for Cyprus and Greece at ICAW. I joined the Institute in 2017. And my background is on international and European uh, relations and marketing and combination. So I started my studies in Greece at the University of Piraeus, where I obtained my first degree on international and European relations. And then I continued my studies in France, where I did uh, business administration and marketing. So a little bit of a combination of both. Um, when I look back and even today, so I started my career in Greece working in international organizations and then I continue in France for a couple of years and then I came to, to Cyprus and now I'm really happy to be uh, at ICAW. So I'm heading back to, to Christiana now to continue with the presentation and we'll have the chance to speak in a few uh, slides from now together. Thank you very much, Maria. So we'd like to begin by just setting out the ICAW presence here at the Panorama. Um, and as you can see on your screen, what we have here are really throughout the five days of the Panorama Careers Fair and beyond, uh, where you can find us. So if you haven't seen this already, we have a booth. We're delighted to be gold sponsor this year. So you're welcome to join our booth, attend our booth. We're willing to chat. We're there available for you. And you can also see a great video which profiles our major employers and some of our members here working in Greece. Today is our keynote presentation and we're delighted to talk you through that. And as you can see on the schedule, um, we have a number of meetups this week. A career Profiling a career as an ACA with some of our major employers and we'd be delighted to see you. So do sign up for those meetups. Also, we're delighted that there are chartered accountants in Greece who will be taking part in the panorama in other sessions. Earlier today at four o'clock, Arielios Emanuelidis, Vice President of Group Treasury HSBC, gave a presentation on the finance function of a major global banking institution. And our member, our senior member, Benalobi Gassani, who is a partner in More Greece, is talking uh, at a panel this Wednesday with regards to trends in shipping. We're very proud of our members, as you can see. So today, what do we have between myself and Maria to share with you? And we'd be delighted to hear your questions. We're here to answer them and any concerns you may have. A few words initially about who we are. So what does ICAW stand for? What is our history? What do we do? What does ACA training involve? Our partnership with SOEL, as we work with the national body, SOMAR, Cotona, Lechtolo, Giston, we are proud partners in Greece. And next, next steps to taking your first step for a career as a chartered accountant in Greece. 
then we'd like to talk you through the university student scheme. So my colleague Maria will talk you through that scheme and how it can help you to put you in a great position to boost your employability skills as you make those critical applications and put yourself forward for employability. So a few words to begin then about the ICAEW. The ICAW is one of the oldest professional bodies in the world, founded in 1880, and the photograph that you see there on the right of your screen are our global headquarters based in London. This is a photograph by night, as you see. So the ICAW, Institute of Chartered Accountants in England and Wales, is a recognised world leader in the accountancy, finance and business profession. It's an international body, so we have offices all over the world, and we have over 150,000 members and a large number of students in, as you can see, over 150 countries, of which Greece is one. And we are delighted to have members in Greece working across the public and private sector um, and in key leadership positions also. And a large number of employers are authorised with us, and that's also the case in Greece. A little bit later on, we'll be showing you who they are. We like to say at the ICAW that the ICAW is the home of the chartered accountancy profession. It's where it began, back in 1880, at the time when professions were being created, when there was a huge problem of lacking trust in business, when a number of key stakeholders came together to create the accountancy, finance and business profession. Many of those individuals, the first presidents of the ICAW, their names stand out even today on the global brands that we know of professional services. Be they Deloitte, EY, PwC, KPMG, Grant Thornton, BDO, Moore and many, many others. We have very close relationships with these global networks across the world. As you can see, there is huge market recognition and respect for this prestigious organization and professional designation with its huge heritage. As you can see on the screen there, of the FTSE 100, 78 have an ICAW Chartered Accountant on their board. On the following slide, as you can see, 96 of the world's 100 global leading brands choose to employ chartered accountants. So having the ACA on your CV will make you stand out from the crowd. Our program is rigorous, it's well structured, it's a comprehensive business accounting and finance program, but it's a program that will lead you to the position that you wish to take your career in with great skills, knowledge and confidence. In Europe, Number one in Europe, the ACA, as most likely to get you the best jobs in finance too. Additionally, we're delighted that our members may be found in C-suite positions. So this is the qualification to take you to senior positions in, in, in the business world. So one in four CEOs in the FTSE 100 are qualified chartered accountants. That's across industries. And in Greece, as you perhaps have seen in our video, we're really proud that both CEO and CFO of Greece's biggest organization, the Hellenic Petroleum, are both ACA's chartered accountants. So if you wish to stand out from the crowd, it's a worthwhile investment. And you're taking the first step today to find out more about the ACA and if it's the right qualification for you. Additionally, the ICAW is a founding member of Chartered Accountants Worldwide. That's the global collection of chartered accounting bodies, such as the Institute of Chartered Accountants of South Africa and Australia and New Zealand and many others across the world. The chartered brand stands out and this is testament by the fact that 100% of the world's global leading brands employ chartered accountants. So it's clearly the world's marker for the leading professional qualification. Moving on, as a professional body, we are a membership body, but our mandate and our charter is very clear that we are a public interest body. That means that we must act in the public interest, even where that conflicts with member interest. So therefore, we have taken on board as an organization, not only for ourselves to become carbon neutral, but also that we must be in the driving seat to train chartered accountants who can advise businesses on how they can do that for themselves. And additionally, 
as chartered accountants to be able to measure the impact on the world's natural resources and exactly the footprint that we are leaving behind. And you can see this on our website, that this is something that we are taking forward in huge strides. Technology is also massively important in the ACA. And I've been delighted to see so many questions on the community of the Panorama Hover app. So many questions around technology, many questions. Should I just do, should I do technology? Should I only do technology? Is it worth going into a profession? All of these questions are valid and absolutely on point. The reality as we accept it is that technology will become the new way of carrying out professions, whether that's in the medical profession, the legal, or indeed the chartered accountancy profession. And that's why we have incorporated data analytics software in our examinations, because there is a massive data out there. As you know, we are drowning in data, but we are starving in insights. And chartered accountants are well placed to provide those insights to businesses. As you can see, other technological developments are incorporated in our examinations and syllabus because, as you saw, chartered accountants are C-suites, chartered accountants are setting strategies. Technology is a huge part of strategic development and we absolutely have to be on the front foot of that. So moving forward, as you will see shortly, that our qualification is set out in three levels the certificate, the professional, and the advanced level. So technology is taught, examined, and practiced throughout those levels in the different areas of business accounting and finance. Additionally, Excel is a very important tool, and I'm sure we've all used Excel at some point or other. Employers come back to the ICAW and say, for finance professionals, advanced Excel skills are important. We're not examining Excel, but we are providing training tools so that all our members and our students can be digitally aware and can have a bespoke training session, and that will be available to you. It will be available also to you should you sign up to the University Student Scheme, uh, which Maria will, uh, my colleague Maria will set up a bit later. And I now hand over to my colleague Maria. Maria. Thank you, Christiana. So where is someone can work, where an ICAW member can work? As, as my colleague mentioned before, we have created a fantastic video uh, with members and current students in Greece just to show you the opportunities, the local opportunities, not only the opportunities that you can find abroad, uh, but the local opportunities as well. So if you can see, um, we have members in many different areas, many different industries, so you can really work wherever you wish in any industry you, you wish. So you can work in, into practice, you can move into banking, you can move, you can work for the government. Uh, and if you are ambitious enough, you can reach the top, you can become CEOs, CFOs as uh, my colleague mentioned before you can explore the world so you can work wherever you wish around the world because this qualification is globally recognized and we really value that and uh, if we move on to the next slide we see a really really important quote from carol who is the finance director of l'oreal she says that people fail to realize that their accountant in every single uh, industry in every single organization. Every organization has a finance department, so you can work, you can take your career really wherever you wish. And this is a really good example for you, as Carol, our member, works for the uh, for L'Oreal. So how you can become an ICAW Chartered Accountant? So what you need to know is here. So first of all, you need to finish your university degree to obtain your degree in any subject, um, not only in accounting and finance, because the ACA starts right from the first beginning and it goes right up to the advanced level. And then you can enter into an ACA training with an authorized training employer. And we will see later on, what do we mean by authorized training employer in Greece? Once you complete a combination of studying and practical work experience uh, and complete all the four uh, really important elements of the ACA, you can become, you can apply and become an ICAW member, so a chartered accountant. 
So you can see here the four uh, key elements of the ACA training. The most important thing to say here is that you're entering a profession. So it's not another academic degree. It's not another master's degree. It's a professional qualification. And for us, uh, it's really important to have to cover all those four areas. So practical work experience. So you will work and study at the same time. You will have a combination with the support of your employer. Uh, then another important part is the ethics and professional skepticism. So through the, the, the ACA training, you will learn to be ethical, to act in a professional way and do the right thing when no one is looking. The examining part, of course, and we will see the modules later on and the professional development. So if we take them one by one, practical work experience. You will need around four, uh, 450 days to complete the, the ACA training uh, to have on the job uh, experience. So this lasts between takes between three to five years uh, to complete. But as I mentioned before, you uh, study and work uh, the same period, not another master's degree or another academic degree. The ethics and professional skepticism, as I mentioned before, it's really important for us to be, for our members and students to be, to act in an ethical way and a professional way. And that's why in almost every single module of the ACA, you will find ethical dilemmas, uh, which you will be uh, called to discuss and also uh, this will help you to be uh, very professional going forward. Professional development. Uh, these areas are also uh, really important to mention because during the ACA training and once you will complete the ACA, you will be able to add value to the organizations that you will be working for. And that is why the employer is supporting your uh, studies with the ACA. So you will be able to communicate, to develop the communication skills that the employers are looking for. You will be able to make decisions, to solve problems, and also work within teams and have the technical competence. So these are the 15 modules of the ACA. Uh, we have three different levels, the certificate level, the professional level, and, and the advanced level. It's very, uh, we have to focus on the, to see the different subjects that the ACA is offering. So these are 50 mo 15 modules uh, based on finance and business. Only one of the modules is focused really on accounting. So, and you can see that on the certificate level and the rest can really prepare you to reach the top so they can prepare you to become leaders of tomorrow and we, we we can see that through our members when where they are today so if we take every uh level separately so the certificate level this can be sat at any point as the these courses these modules can be taken on demand in one of the e-assessment centers that we have just to mention that all the exams are computer based then if we move on to the professional level it can be taken four times per year so every june uh, march june september and december and the advanced level two times per year every uh, july and november So I'm handing back to my colleague Christiana now to say a few more words about Greece and how we work with SOEL, the professional body of Greece. Christiana, back to you. Thank you so much, Maria. So we are delighted to be working with SOEL, the national body of Greece, Somar Koton Electoral Logistan. And we've come together to bring a joint program called the Accredited Membership Program in Greece, which enables you to qualify as both ACAs, Chartered Accountants, and members of SOEL with the OEL designation. So that's absolutely a fantastic opportunity. It's one program that takes you to two destinations with local regulatory recognition and the opportunity for an audit license, as well as international recognition with the ICAW and the ACA. So having worked together and worked very closely with our partners at SOEL and also having worked closely with the regulators in Greece and the UK, we were delighted to bring together our programme, our joint programme, which 
gives right to regulatory recognition and audit should individuals wish to pursue them. And at the same time, building solid, strong professional skills for economic success. So how does this work with regards to the program? So as my colleague Maria set out earlier, these are our 15 papers. And you'll see that it, within the 15 papers, and as you can see, this comprehensive finance, accountancy and business qualification, there are specifics, as you would expect, on tax and law. And there are four papers in particular which, are, which apply to tax and law. Law, principles of tax, further on, tax compliance, and then business planning, tax. And these four papers use the UK regime in order to set out tax and law. So we've come together with SOEL so that these four papers are exempt for you in Greece and instead you will take the corresponding papers in Greece. So moving on to the next slide, that sets out route one. Route one means that you will follow instead of 15 papers with the ACA, 11, and instead of the UK tax and law papers, you will undertake the corresponding papers at SOEL. And so that will give you that in-depth knowledge of tax and law in Greece to advise your clients appropriately, and of course, the broader business finance and accounting knowledge further on for international clients and strategic advice. Importantly, this route takes you to two destinations, to two designations, highly respected and recognized. Route two, which is the second possible route, should you wish to take it, you may be aware, and I'll mention now, that SOEL, through its academic arm called ESOEL, itself has a very highly respected qualification called MedGel. That's the local accountancy qualification. It is entirely in the Greek language. Should you wish to follow it, you would be entitled to 11 of our exemptions from our 15 papers. So therefore, that will secure you 11 exemptions plus the four remaining with the ICAW, and it will take you to the same destination. Two routes, the same destination. Of course, we recognize that you may already have another professional qualification, or you may have undertaken academic studies where you may have covered some of the areas that we've set out in, our, in the examinations. And ICAW.com forward slash CPL sets out the full comprehensive list of all the universities that we work with throughout the world. On the following slide, you can see the most frequently applied from Greece and where we have secured universities in place. Now, if your university is not on this list, it still means that you can apply for CPL for credit for prior learning. There is a separate process and that's set out on our website and we'd be happy to assist you with that too. So as you can see on the schedule, if you followed the SOEL qualification, then you are entitled to 11 credits. If you followed the ACCA qualification, you are entitled to 12 of our 15 credits. And then there are programs that we have accredited across Greece, as you can see listed there. And of course, we'll be happy to take any questions that you may have on this slide or indeed any other area that arises. So moving on to the next slide, often we're asked, do I have to have done a relevant degree? Well, as you can see from our student base, only 30% or so of students undertook accounting and finance. And if you're, you've undertaken an accounting and finance degree or master's, that the profession welcomes you. You've made that decision early and it's absolutely fantastic. However, for those of you who haven't undertaken accountancy and finance, and I know because I'm one of them having undertaken different studies, the profession is equally welcoming. So as you can see, people from all sorts of areas and degrees have decided to proceed and have proceeded successfully to do the ACA, because as my colleague Maria mentioned earlier, the ACA begins from the beginning. It assumes zero knowledge and it can take you all the way to the top. It's rigorous. You will need to be dedicated. It's worth it. The recognition is there should you decide that this sector is the right one for you. Additionally, we'd like to show you our pass rates. 
we're really encouraged by these pass rates and we hope that you are too. And perhaps you might ask whether high pass rates and a rigorous examination system is inconsistent. And it would be a good question to ask, but it's not inconsistent because the individuals who choose to do the ACA want to stand out from the crowd and they apply themselves and their employers support them, their tuition providers support them in Greece, and we support them. So it's a well-supported system. And importantly, the examiners mark positively. Our examiners do not undertake negative marking. And additionally, all our learning materials are provided to you, and there are no surprises in the exam. So rest assured that as an ACA student, you will be treated fairly, and that's important that you can trust the system. So here is a list of our current authorised training employers. We're so very proud to be associated with these super brands that are listed here on this slide. So please do contact them. Many of them have places available. Many of them are at Panorama or will be with us next week and others uh, maybe their websites are available. You can contact their HR. Additionally, you can see on the right hand side of your screen icwtrainingvacancies.com, where there are vacancies advertised to. So please do make the most of what is available to you and really do, do go for it. It might be that you find a different employer, or perhaps you're working for a different employer, a finance function, an accounting department in a business. Well, then please do contact us, myself and my colleague Maria. We will support your employer to become authorised. It's a very speedy process and there are no financial burdens involved at all. We're delighted to be able to support the future generation of chartered accountants. So I'd now like to hand over, hand back to my colleague, Maria. Thank you, Maria. Thank, thank you very much, Christiana. Um, just to say a few words about the ACA training in Greece, the website, the dedicated website that we have for you. Uh, so if you wish to, to see how it works in Greece, our cooperation with SOIL, and also if you remember any question that you want to pose to us later on after this, uh, this uh, Panorama Career Fair, you can go in and you can find our contact details and contact us whenever you wish. So why choose us? First of all, it's really important to go through the, the program to see if this is the right thing for you to do, for you to follow, because it will need your time, your dedication. You will, the, you will be the one uh, doing the ACA training and uh, doing the ACA module sitting for the exam. So uh, if you go through and you believe that this is the right thing for you to follow, then we are super proud because we see that our members really uh, reach the top. So this can lead you to leadership, as I mentioned before, uh, rewarding salaries. So again, another uh, good point to mention, whenever you, someone becomes a member of ICAW, uh, doors open and you have many, many different options. Versatility, as I mentioned before, you can take your career wherever you wish. So you can work for every organization at their finance department. Uh, it's up to you. Uh, high first time pass rates. So we see that 80% of our students pass their exams with the first try, the first time. And this is really important because we really want, we, we really believe that this program uh, has uh, a very, very uh, well structured program. And that's why we see these results. Whenever someone starts, we are there to support them throughout their whole journey to become members. And obviously when they become members as well, qualifying time. Uh, again, we said before that most of our students uh, qualify within four, four years. Um, and this is because the program is very well structured and everyone is around you to support you, not only us as a professional body, but your, uh, also your employer plays a very important role, your tuition provider and everyone is around you to, to, to help you and support you towards your success. A few words about ICAW student scheme now. Uh, my colleague Christiana mentioned a few, a few things before. So this is an online uh, toolkit 
which we are proud to and re very happy to offer to you uh, today. Um, so what is it? Uh, the ICW Student Scheme, or the USS as we call it, uh, is designed to help you develop the, the skills that the employers are looking for today uh, in finance, accounting, and the business sectors. So whether you want to enhance your CV or um, access additional resources to support your university studies, or just simply stand out uh, from your peers in a job application, the USS is really uh, there to support you. So what is included? First of all, uh, you will see that there are some online courses that you can take whenever you wish on your own time uh, and certifications. So you can complete, for example, the Excel online training. And then once you complete it, uh, I think it lasts around nine hours. Um, depending on your level, and that's why I say I think, because uh, you will be asked to take an online IQ test, and based on your level, it will design a course specifically for you, dedicated for your level, and it will go right up to the advanced level. And then you will receive a certificate, which you can absolutely uh, add to your CV, mention that you have followed this program, and then Xero Cloud Accounting courses, we will see later on a few more details about this online program as well, this online certificate. Uh, skills development, job hunting, you will be able to practice an interview because we have uh, an interview practice platform. This is really useful and really helpful uh, towards your first interview. It has very uh, useful tips for you to use, how you can demonstrate your skills on a CV, how to prepare a very good CV in order to impress your interviewers and also send a very professional application together with your cover letter. You can practice the psychometric test. So we see that big organizations ask uh, for the ask from the candidates to, to take a psychometric test. So you will have a chance to practice this psychometric test in advance and then you will be ready once the, uh, the employer will ask you to, to join them and take their psychometric test there. And interview tips, you'll be able to, um, to go around and see all the, the benefits of this program. I mentioned before about the Excel on online training and how it works. Uh, the Xero certification courses, so uh, Xero certification shows that you have learned skills, digital skills that other uh, that your peers perhaps do not have. This is a bioneric program. Um, it lasts uh, between six hours uh, to, and we have added now nine more hours. Of course, I mentioned before that you can take these courses whenever you wish. Don't feel that you have to start now and uh, you have to finish within a day or a week. Uh, you will have access to this platform uh, throughout your whole uh, starting period. So when you're at the university, once you join it, until you graduate, you will have uh, the chance to complete this program. So it will be there for you. So we've mentioned the benefits. You can add, of course, uh, to your CV that you are following this program. So you can say that you are an ICAW USS um, that you, you've, you're following this program uh, in order to show to the employers that you have taken the first step. So you will show to the employers that you are doing something more than just your uh, academic degree. So just, you know, your academic studies. And this is really uh, a, a very good step to take if you wish to follow a career in accountancy and business. Uh, so the next steps. As I mentioned uh, earlier, you uh, this I didn't mention this earlier, so I will mention it now. It doesn't involve any cost or anything. It's part of our partnership with your universities in Greece. So all you need to do is to send us an email, to send me an email, and I will be able to share the right uh, voucher code and university code because each uh, university has its own. We have created a separate code and voucher code for uh, you to go in. So now I'm handing back to my colleague, Christiana, if she has anything to add, and then we can proceed with the, the questions with the Q&A session. Christiana. Maria, thank you very, very much. 
I would like to say what a pleasure it has been to be with you this evening. I want to touch on one point because it has been raised in the community questions. What is the difference between a master's, for example, and the ACA? And they're very different, of course. One is an academic program, very highly respected, depending on the university you're from. The ACA, of course, is the same ACA, the professional program. I hope that today we've helped to explain myself and Maria how a professional program is structured in order um, for it to be different from a master's program. So it goes beyond the know-how and the technical knowledge to practical application, ethics and professional development. And of course, the ACA that is undertaken in Greece is exactly the same ACA which is undertaken in London, in Beijing, and any other part of the world. So it is one standard world-class uh, qualification. So we'd like to thank you again for your time. It's been an honor to be amongst you, my, myself, for myself and Maria, and we're here to answer any questions. Thank you once more. Right. Uh, thank you so much for the, I think it was very comprehensive and very clear. I think you've, you've covered uh, quite a few points. Um, I, I can see that there are three questions so far. The first one, and I can see that you have already answered it in written, but I will still read it. Is it way too difficult to get the ACA qualification? How much studying needs? It's possible, is it possible to combine work with ACA? Well, perhaps I'll, I'll begin answering that and then I'll hand over to my colleague Maria for further thoughts. To say that, first of all, the, is it way too difficult? Well, I hope that today that you've seen the pass rates and you've been encouraged that somebody who sincerely begins the ACA and dedicates themselves and works hard has every chance of success. So many of us have gone through and succeeded. There are more than 150,000 of us. So you can be the next person, absolutely. The second question relates to, I'm sorry, can you remind me the second question? Yes, uh, just a second. Uh, is it possible to combine work with ACA? Thank you very much. The way that the training is structured in Greece is such that you will be undertaking your practical work experience with your employer and then you will be at a tuition provider and we work with two tuition providers in Greece, Global Training who are here at the Panorama and we're delighted to be joining them and Altium Training. So these two excellent tuition providers are in Greece and while you're with your employer, your employer will give you time outside the office to attend college for tuition and revision, and then to undertake examinations. So it, will, it won't be the case that you will be working and studying at exactly the same time. You will be working for a number of weeks, and then you will be studying for a number of weeks. So this is a huge investment that employers are making in the ACA, and in order to ensure that their staff are very well equipped and professionally trained in order to be great business advisors. Maria. Thank you, Christiana. I think you, you've covered almost everything. The important thing is that, as, as you said, that the employer is there to help you with your program. So please don't worry about that because many times you ask us, how should I start? Uh, should I say to the employer that I want to follow the ACA? Once you've uh, set, you, you say you send your CV and you have been accepted, then the employer will guide you through the ACA training and they will let you know when you have to be at the office and when you have to be at the tuition provider to do the, the, the classes to do your uh, your studying. Um, it's important also to mention at this point that and, and that's why we said before that it is a well structured program. Uh, because the the courses are taught during the day, so we think that this is really helpful to you. Uh, so the days that you will be at the uh, the tuition provider, you will be there focusing on your studying, and you will not have to go back to to work. So this is what I wanted to add. Thank you, Christiana. Thank you, Maria. Great. Um, now another question is: In which sector? our practice three to five years should be? 
I don't know if that if you understand the question. In which sector should ah oh, yes, Our thank purpose. you. Yes, I yeah. think I hope that I've understood the question. To say that you may undertake your training in any sector, because essentially we are aware that every organization requires strong financial management. So whether that's in the public sector, in the private sector, in the shipping industry, in the professional services firms or in the banks, all organizations are potentially there to be authorized training employers for ACAs. And also perhaps just to, to add quickly, Christiana, perhaps uh, regarding the departments, uh, because they many times they do ask us in which department should I be only on the auditing department, the tax department, I don't know if you want to uh, say a few more details about that, just in case that um, this, uh, this question. Yes, absolutely. So it may be the case that, so for example, within the professional services firms, certainly professional services firms and the profession has its root in audit. But today, modern professional services firms have a variety of departments corporate finance, lead advisory, valuations, audit, consulting, internal audit, tax, tax advisory. These are just some of them, cybersecurity and so on. So really you can undertake your ACA training in any of these departments. We hope we answered that question. Yeah. Yes, uh, I, think, I think you did. Um, now, another question we have is, ACA or ACCA and why? Thank you. This is a this is an excellent question. So and it's a very commonly asked question because on the face of it, it just looks like one C is might be a difference. So it's a, it's a very good question. And of course, um, it is a phenomenon of the UK. The United Kingdom has a large number, seven in fact, professional bodies, professional accountancy bodies. Many other nations have one national body. So of course, it, it will raise some confusion. But everybody, every professional body has a distinct identity, character and direction. So it is really very important that you dedicate yourselves to look into each qualification and decide which one is the right one for you. Certainly, as you saw in the schedule, which we shared earlier, we welcome ACCA members um, chartered certified accountants to continue their studies and become chartered accountants. We recognize the ACCA um, as being equivalent to 12 CPL that we can grant. So we have a good working relationship with all the UK bodies and all the international bodies. Every professional body, including the ACCA, of course, very highly respected. We are colleagues. Which professional qualification you follow you will need to take the time and decide which one is the right one for you. Brilliant. Um, actually, I have a question of mine. Um, in order to actually do the, uh, the ACEA uh, course, do you need to have some prior knowledge of, let's say, mathematics or maths or statistics or anything that is uh, necessary to be able to understand and um, be able, you know, to finish the course. Perhaps I can ask my colleague Maria to answer this one. Yeah. Thank you, Christiana. Uh, so it, it's not obligatory to have a background in accounting and finance or a specific background. Uh, we definitely need a university degree. So you'll need to, to have a university degree, but in any in any industry, in any field, sorry, in any field, because you can either start from the beginning, the ACA, as I mentioned before, uh, starts from the beginning and it goes right up to the, the top. Or if you have a background in accountancy and finance or a relevant background, as we call it, business administration or relevant in general uh, with some of the modules. It means that you may be eligible to get some exemptions out of the 15 modules of the ACA. So this is the difference. And uh, we, we have many examples of members who didn't have any exemption at all, like Christiana. She started something totally different and she uh, managed to, to be members of the Institute for many years now. Um, so this is, um, 
something that you need to have in mind. It's not uh, obligatory, but if you have, it means that you may be eligible to uh, get some exemptions. Per perhaps, um, perhaps we should also mention the, the program of uh, AICPA, the, the master's degree that we are working together with. Um, yes. Thank you, Maria. So then it may be that of the attendees this evening, some of you may be studying the postgraduate course in applied accounting at the National Gabalistia Gorn uh, University of Athens, EGBA. Uh, I should mention at this point that both Maria and I are Greek speakers too, so we can we do welcome questions in Greek too. Uh, but that, that particular master's program is a tripartite program in that the EGBA already have a partnership in place with SOEL, or Soma Narcodon Electrologistan, and essentially through our partnership, there are three parties involved. And what this means in practice for you is that by achieving the master's program, you may also achieve some additional exemptions um, with the ICW2. In fact, from between eight and 12, depending on your options. But that's a very specific program because of the partnership between EGBA, SOEL and ICAW. Great. Um, I think that's it. Uh, we've covered uh, all the questions, and I just want to add that um, if you, if you, anybody wants to ask uh, Maria or Christiana any more, any other questions, uh, you are more than welcome to send them um, a private message. Uh, if you go to the attendees, and then you can find them and send them a, a message, or you can visit their uh, company page at the exhibitors. Okay, thank you so much, both of you. I think it was very, very useful and very interesting. Um, I don't know if you have, if you want to add anything uh, else. Um, yes, we would like to say a few words from my behalf, and then I'll hand over to Maria as well. From my behalf, wish you every success in your next steps. Take the time now. You're in such a great position to find out as much as you can about future paths and future employers and which one is right for you. And I'm sure that you will make your next steps, great next steps. So best of luck and hopefully see you again. Um, I would also like to, to thank you all for being with us this evening. I just wanted to mention that if you're interested in following this career, uh, we've uh, created a few meetups for the upcoming days. So we have invited either a trainees from uh, big firms or the heads of HR to uh, tell us how their journey has been so far with the ACA and uh, how they can support you if you wish to enter these, uh, these, uh, these firms. So please go to the, the agenda to find these meetups. Tomorrow we have uh, Teoharis Konstantinopoulou from KPMG. Uh, she's an ACA trainee and she will be more than happy to answer to your questions. And then we have uh, other firms coming in and uh, trainees and heads of HR. So thank you very much. Best of luck to everyone. And uh, please contact us if you have any further questions. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. Bye-bye.